So here we have the Heathkit EC1 analog computer. This one dates from uh, mid-1961. Um, it's been totally restored and overhauled um, and I've got it currently configured with the falling body program. Um, as you can see all the patch wires and there's some discretes in there, some capacitors and resistors and uh, both channels um, are going to my scope which is in XY mode and uh, if I set the unit to repetitive so you hear the relay clicking um, and this is generating a sweep uh, with initial condition 2 um, coming out of amplifier 3 and then the, uh, the falling body uh, analog motion is coming out of amplifier 2 um, and these are plotted against X and Y on the scope and the scope has a, a digital store mode so you'll you'll get to see a trace of what's going on um, so you can see the, the ball the motion going forwards and down and then by adjusting the coefficient potentiometers, uh, you can adjust uh, the rate of fall and the distance of fall um, from here and from here. So if we're going to push that ball forwards, It shoots off the screen. So if we leave that at that kind of draw, and then I can increase the rate at which it falls. So it's got a sharper gravity. and then a shallower gravity and then if we want it to fall a little bit further I can reduce the repetitive rate and then we can watch the trace track all the way down the screen so it's kind of a, an interesting analog motion and then if I turn it back to regular XY mode off of store how the dot would be. See that's with the repetitive rate turned way up. Put it back on store. So you can see there's an example of how an analog computer can be used to track motion. Um, 